I've been traveling alone around South America for the past six months now and in this video I want to encourage you to do the same. But I also want to keep it real and prepare you as best as I can for this way of traveling with some valuable tips and tricks. So let's get into this. For the past few months I've met quite a lot of people that were telling me about their friends and family not really encouraging them or not really understanding their wish to travel and see more of the world. So many told me they were hesitating for years because they were too afraid to travel alone. I personally also never traveled alone before and I always wanted to have either family or friends around me to make memories together. I have to state I really enjoyed and still do enjoy this type of traveling but I also didn't have the slightest idea of how this other way of doing things will affect me personally and will change my life forever. So here's my story of how I fell in love with solo traveling and that didn't happen on this trip here but it happened in early summer 2021 when I went to Italy for the first time alone. I wanted and needed a holiday so bad at the time and none of my friends or family neither had the time or the motivation to join me on a trip so I just said to myself, you know what Simon? Fuck it. Book that ticket and have a good time. The following day I did exactly that and went to one of my bucket list and dream destinations. Italy's capital Rome and the Amalfi Coast further south. I must say I had the best and most transformative weeks of my entire life there and I'm not exaggerating. I met incredible people from all over the world in the hostels I stayed in and they opened up new perspectives to me and became true friends. I never felt that free and I could simply give the days I had there the shape that I wanted to give them because I had nobody that I had to adjust my plans to. I went to see the places I wanted to see, went to chill out if I wanted to, or go take pictures also if I wanted. That made me learn so many things about who I am, boosted my confidence to an all-time high and truly changed my life. All it took for that was a slight kick in my ass to leave my bubble and my comfort zone. I've never felt that amount of freedom that I felt in these weeks in Italy and I wouldn't trade them for anything ever. So now I already gave a lot of arguments of why you should make that step as well and why it's impossible to regret it. Even if you consider yourself an introvert or you find many reasons not to do it. Ultimately, every reason not to do it is one more reason to do it. Believe me. This trip to Italy also was the main reason for me to decide to travel South America by myself and these past six months here are basically just a continuation of what I experienced in Italy. Bring some structure into it and break it down to the main points for you to also make this decision. Speaking of decisions, you will be 100% able to do what you want and move your life towards the direction that you want to and not what others might think is best. You are your own boss and you're not judged for this because everybody you meet doing traveling is in the same boat and going through the same transformation. Secondly, these people you'll for sure meet doing your travels all come from different backgrounds and do something completely different work-wise for example but they're still somewhat relatable. They are all following a similar mindset and you can learn so much from them, exchange perspectives and eventually grow out of it. That's kind of amazing if you ask me. There's also no way that's not going to happen if you allow yourself to go to hostels or places where you can find a lot of other travelers. A pro tip on this front is going to Selena Hostels for example. They have multiple locations all across South America and it's a hub for digital nomads, other travelers and you can even decide if you want to have like a more private space for yourself or a private room or you want to stay in a dorm or you want to eat in a hostel or you want to cook your own food or work in a co-working space or just chill out at the pool because most of them even have pools like it's a really really good decision to make also you just always know what you get because in every country there are some similarities and that just feels good when you're so far away from home you kind of want to have like a little bit of stability <laughs> so i would totally recommend you the selena hostels as a base for all of your travels across south america what i recognized through traveling alone is that my confidence in myself as a person also started improving more and more and more coming fears solving challenges and being a more independent person really helped me feeling okay with who i am Accepting the parts I didn't like about myself and focusing on things that made me happy really helped me boosting my confidence to a really healthy level. Having to figure life out by myself is also a way of growing up and dealing with things I've never dealt with before. That, at least for me, gives me a sense of improving and going further and eventually becoming a real adult. Well, I think now I gave you a bunch of reasons why you should say yes to solo traveling, but I promise to keep it real in this video, so now I'm gonna point out some difficulties that come along with solo traveling and why you should be aware of that. 
Firstly, a fact that many people might not be directly conscious about is that oftentimes solo traveling goes hand in hand with additional costs. If you can't find someone to share costs with in a moment, renting a car for example can be really a challenge to find it alone. If you're not a hostel person or a dorm room person, a private room for two people normally of course costs you double. Traveling together with someone can save you a lot of money and of course also makes things easier as you don't have to figure out everything on your own. Speaking of being on your own, that of course can be a really tough part of solo travel. At times missing home and familiar faces can really be a challenge to overcome, especially when you're traveling alone for a long period. To be honest, I don't think there's a good solution to that, so what I usually do is I just let it happen and see it as a sign that I really have people that I care about and that missing them just shows me how much I do that. But with our modern opportunities of video calls, for example, keeping in touch with our loved ones at home is way, way easier and more accessible than it was just 10 years ago. Also, most travelers you meet along the way can totally relate and you'll quickly find people to talk about this that actually listen. That was at least my personal experience with it. Well, I hope with this video I can make your decision to travel abroad all by yourself a little bit easier. Let me know what you think about the list of pros and cons in the comments below. For me this video is all about inspiring people to leave their comfort zone and fulfill their dreams and I hope this video got you a tiny little bit closer towards making this decision. Always remember my favorite quote, life happens on the other side of fear. Thank you so much for watching and let's discover more of Brazil 